All right, so today is the day. I've teased out with it long enough. The 620. What have we done to it? It's something pretty badass. Before we start today's video, if you like what you see here today and you don't mind, go down below, find that subscribe button, click it. Make sure you got the bell ring as well. So you, whenever I post a video most every day, y'all get notified. You make sure you get your notifications from YouTube. Make sure you have notifications turned on on your mobile device. If that's where you're receiving your notifications that I have posted a video, which like I said, usually every day about six o'clock, sometimes seven. Depending on how late we got to work out here, making y'all some quality content. The Tiger Cat 620. We've done something pretty cool to it, to my standards, to a lot of y'all standards too, if you like. Big equipment, big horsepower, and big turbos. I mean, who don't like that kind of stuff, you know? I mean, that's just that's just part of being a man. You can never have too big of machinery or too much horsepower. You just can't. It just is it's just not going to happen. So what we've done to this thing, short story version of this, we gave it more horsepower. And it now has almost 300 horsepower. If I remember right, it's like 290 180 or 285 somewhere in there standard from the factory that little skitter only has 220 horsepower so massive horsepower gain So what does that mean for us as a company, these advantages that we now have with this machine? I mean, more power, that's simple. Uh, some people gonna say, oh, you're gonna burn more diesel. Uh, we might be burning a little bit, but I haven't seen enough yet out of it to, to justify saying that was a bad idea. The biggest thing, look at the drags of wood that thing is now pulling. That thing is pulling almost as much as my John Deere skitter. The only reason it is not matching my John Deere skitter now is because it has a smaller grapple. That grapple is maxed out every drag, every drag, every drag. Now that thing is pulling some wood, you hear me? That's the biggest thing, is the more power lets it handle the bigger drags of wood easier because when it gets in a, in a tight spot it needs to it needs the power to get itself up out of a hole or out of a wet spot with those big drags it's got it it's there and it gets it up out of there i mean like i said earlier you can never go wrong with more power bigger machines and bigger power are always great well until you get too much weight on the machine and then you can't work your wet ground in the winter time
one of the areas it does a lot better job at now is pushing it has enough power with it now that as it's pushing the piles of trash it can roll the trash in front of it instead of it building up and blocking the machine and it wanting to stop it now pushes through whatever it gets up against so it makes cleaning up our sets twice as easy twice as fast and in logging time is money oh he got on a stump he's gonna make me look like a liar look at that big old pile of trash he's pushing he used to not do that meet all of the EPA regulations and everything like that it is still using depth like it's supposed to and like this machine and the 630 and I believe even the 635 they all use the exact same engine platform the horsepower is just altered by a computer program and that's all we've done here is we bumped it up I believe it's got the 632 horsepower in it now I'd have to go pull up my specs to, to tell you for sure, but I want to say I, the, the 630E model skidders are somewhere around 270, and I think the 632 or the, the 635 is right around that 300 horsepower mark. I'm pretty sure the 635 is a 300. Like I said, that one's got 290 horsepower now. Major differences. I'm thoroughly impressed with the machine with the extra the extra horsepower. I know I've given Tiger Cat and that machine a hard time on my job, and I'm not saying that that's the end all be all skitter, but it used to really struggle pulling big drags of wood. Like you could when you could get everything that grapple would hold in the grapple, you would struggle to get it to your loader. It would take longer, it would pull harder. It was burning more diesel than what it should be, in my opinion, because it was laboring harder. Since we put that in there, if you can fit it in there, and I don't think it's turned up the pressure on the pumps or anything, you know, I don't think it's adjusted any of that. I think those, those screws still haven't been turned. I wasn't here whenever they worked on the machine, so I can't 100% verify that for y'all, but, if you can fit it in the grapple now it's going to the loader it don't matter now it wouldn't have pulled that 21 tree drag that I had built for the tiger the John Deere the other day uh, that was just uh, <laughs> that was me on purpose trying to make the skitter not get it for y'all some quality entertainment so uh, that's the that's what we've done to the 630 very impressed with the extra power uh sucks that we haven't been getting to use it as much as what i think we should be but we have been using it uh when we need it and today's one of those days we need it so y'all got to see it work so how about that but anyway guys uh thank y'all all so much for watching and subscribing if you're not already subscribed please go down below and Hit that subscribe button leave me a comment and i think that's all i got guys that was pretty badass though i mean just the thing i wish i, I wish i was still standing over there that thing is rolled up a pile of trash taller than that deer stand out there in the clear cut just it's just shoving it up i can see it over there just shoving it up it's crazy so we uh we gotta head on up out of here but Big things are coming soon, very soon. Sooner than I teased y'all with this video, we're going to be doing a video. Top five mistakes a rookie skitter opera will make, operator will make on a skitter. A lot of y'all is going to want to see that. That's that's going to it's going to be very interesting. And we're working on our top five as a crew. We're we're picking up on uh, 
some things to show y'all to not do on a skitter. In case you are happen to be watching this channel and learning how to run a skitter on your job at the same time. Or you're working on a logging job and you want to learn how to run a skitter, you're going to know not to do these five things before you ever get there. So, go subscribe, subscribe for me guys. I appreciate it. And gals, uh, a bunch. Appreciate everybody for all the support as always. And until the next video, we'll catch y'all next time. We're out of here.